Hello guys, uh, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be speaking about market cycles and this is important to know because you're gonna have to, to change your strategy uh, when you are trading in different market conditions. Uh, if you want to perform well, you're gonna, you're gonna have to, to be able to know in which uh, phase of the market cycle uh, you are in. So basically we have four phases uh, in the cycle and then when the four phases finish, then they repeat. So basically uh, the first phase would be this one here, the consolidation accumulation. And this is when you get same level highs and same level lows. So basically you're going sideways and, and this is when big institutions start to accumulate uh, shares of the stock but they don't do it fast enough so so that the general public can't really see so they don't get attention from the public or from the media and they can uh, continue to accumulate uh, for cheap then uh, once they uh, bought enough they start buying more aggressively and and this pushes the price up and it takes us to the next phase uh, which is the uptrend or bull market and this is when the demand uh, exceeds supply so there's more uh, demand and supply and this pushes the price up then the general public uh, starts to buy more and more and this pushes the price up even more and it's when the market is bullish and optimistic and then uh, you can recognize this because you get higher highs and higher lows and also the moving averages are always below uh, the price in this case, I don't have enough data here for the moving averages to show, but uh, they would be below the price. And this is uh, when you when you find that it's the easiest uh, the easiest time to make money. I mean, any monkey can make money here in a bull market, but this doesn't last forever. And then uh, it comes the point where uh, the demand has been fulfilled. There's no more demand, and it's when we uh, touch top. And uh, when uh, big institutions realize that uh, people is not buying anymore, uh, that's why we cannot uh, break all time highs, then is when they start to sell, but they start to sell slowly so that they don't cause a uh, panic. So they can sell more and more for, for high prices. And then when the general public uh, starts to realize that we're not breaking all time highs anymore, we're just going sideways and they, and they see that they, they, they cannot make uh, easy money anymore uh, what's going on here then uh, they start to to panic sell which takes us to the next uh, phase of the cycle which is the downtrend or bear market this is when the market is pessimistic and bearish and you get you get lower lower highs and lower lows and then eventually when the last person sells is when we can say that we touched bottom and when, this, uh, when the last person sells, then we can go uh, and repeat the same cycle again. Now, uh, this is how it usually shows, like the cycles are usually in this order, but not always. Uh, markets are not perfect, uh, they're not perfectly symmetric. So you can get this, all these faces in any order, really. It's very, very common to not have uh, consolidation accumulation. Uh, many times it just go, goes from, bull, uh, from um, bullish to bearish and then from bearish to bullish again or sometimes it goes uh, bullish and then you get uh, something like uh, consolidation and it, it, it seems like it's consolidation distribution but then uh, first thing you know is that you go and break all some highs again. So this is not always the order but this is basically all the faces that you will find. So this is, by the way, the, the chart for Nike or Nike. I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, Nike, the, the, the sports shoes um, uh, from the year 1991. And this was the first cycle or at least the first cycle that I can I can get the data from TradingView. And uh, then if you see what what happened after that, you see that you get the exact same cycles through history. Of course, the, ne the next cycle is going to be bigger than the one before. So every cycle, it makes uh, the previous one look like nothing. But you can see we have the uh, uh, bull market, uh, consolidation distribution and a uh, bear market. And then uh, we have here uh, consolidation accumulation. Uh, then uh, it goes into a bull market. 
and then consolidation distribution and bear market and then we don't have consolidation accumulation here it goes straight into a bull market consolidation distribution bear market bull market uh, actually this is consolidation distribution uh, sorry consolidation accumulation uh, you can recognize this because the moving averages are um, right in the middle of the price they are not above or below the price so this would be one indicator and you get uh, you, you cannot break um, uh, this resistance level uh, for quite lo long time actually for three years so it's not really uptrending or downtrending it's just staying there sideways um, each one of these phases can last uh, like anywhere from two months to several years and yeah, basically you have the same faces uh, all the time. And this would be like uh, Nike as is uh, of today. Uh, we come from an uptrend, very long one. And it looks now that we are, it looks to me we are in the consolidation distribution. And after that, uh, we might go into a bear market for a little bit because um, all the stocks in general are, are super high now. But of course, there's nothing confirmed here. It could perfectly consolidate and then go uh, keep going up to all time highs again. Another example I have here, the chart for uh, Bank of America. Uh, and you see the same consolidation accumulation. Then this big red uh, box here is the uptrend. And then we get up here at the top, which is the consolidation distribution. And then we get a downtrend. And in this one, you can see that inside the uptrend, we get mini phases as well. We get mini consolidation. We call it consolidation reaccumulation. And then uh, the uptrend and then consolidation distribution and then a uh, big sell off. Uh, uh, it's usually this is usually called a uh, bear trap uh, how do I know that these small ones are not actual faces of the cycle they are not faces of the cycle they are just mini faces inside the uptrend cycle because uh, if you see uh, the price it's always uh, above the moving averages here and not only that the price actually bounces boom on the moving average when it touches, it bounces here, it touches the moving average and it bounces. Only here it went up, uh, below the moving average, but this is a, a bear trap and it fast recovers and continues to go up. So this indicates that we are actually uptrending, even though you have uh, many consolidations and, and uh, you know, uh, sell offs here, but we're still uh, above moving averages, which uh, tells you that the general trend is uh, going up so it's a, a bull market then we have gold here um, i wanted to show different different charts so that you can see that uh, it uh, every market is the same and uh, every market repeats uh, all through history it doesn't matter what year it doesn't matter what asset uh, this is how markets work now here uh, for gold uh, from the year 2000 until 2003, uh, we had this phase of consolidation accumulation. The price was about $300 per ounce. And then uh, we broke out of this uh, in 2003. And from there, we've been in a very long uh, bull market. Uh, okay, with, it, with uh, its little faces uh, inside the, the bull market. But as you can see, the price always bounces in the moving averages. It's been always above the moving average for all these years. So we were trending up. Now, when we get to the top, uh, one thing that you can, you can look at to recognize this might be the top is that the price gets far away from the moving average. It gets far away from the 100 uh, day moving average and not to say the 150 day moving average is even farther from that. And then another thing that you can see is that we have several tries to go to all time highs okay one two three but we can never make it to the old time highs this is the weekly candles chart if you look at the top every candle is one week so it tried several times here to go to all time highs and it almost made it but boom it just bounces back down then it tries again for two weeks it goes down so you can see we get same same level highs and same level lows and it can never break all time highs because there's no more demand for it uh people don't need it anymore and uh, this is when you can recognize the top. And then after that, it breaks down into our market. Now it's been into our market for several years as well. 
and right now what's happening here in my eyes is that it might, this might be uh, gold finally uh, in the face of consolidation accumulation but please look at this because I put here um, a question mark because of course this is not confirmed it could perfectly continue to go down because we have many consolidation uh, phases during uh, during any any phase of the cycle but uh, so far if you see the moving averages have um, have come to to the middle of the in the middle of the price they are not above or below they are in the middle uh, which indicates that it is uh, actually consolidating but of course it's not confirmed yet um, usually to confirm this we're gonna have three confirmations top uh, touching top and touching uh, bottom when it touches three times uh, that usually is an indication that it's actually consolidating and after that it could break up or it could break down because as I said uh, market uh, faces don't always follow the same order okay so but I'm watching all uh, all these people that have been promoting gold for the past decade uh, it tells me that they have no idea about market cycles uh, they, they are not able to recognize this because they've been promoting to buy gold uh, when it was like a uh, thousand five hundred and saying it was it, it was gonna go to ten thousand dollars per ounce and what it was very obvious that we were here in a in a consolidation phase already uh, and actually it broke down and they continued to promote to buy gold when it was so obvious we were down trending so yeah it's important to recognize these parts of the um, of the of the market cycles it's always the same for every market markets don't change uh, this is all based in human psychology and human psychology don't change markets don't change and now lastly we have Bitcoin um, so what I'm seeing here is that we are in this uh, consolidation distribution or at least it's what it looks like um, of course uh, as I said uh, the price um, it doesn't have to follow the the phases of the cycle in the same order so it could perfectly break out uh, in the upside but uh, I personally doubt it because of the simple rule of demand and supply uh, it's hard for me to believe that there's that much uh, demand for Bitcoin when it's not even I talked about this in one of my previous videos that's not it's not even uh, it's not needed the people don't need uh, Bitcoin right now the general public I mean uh, they they can't even live off Bitcoin they need their fear to to survive so why would they uh, want to buy Bitcoin I mean the general public it's not needed or it's not even useful for most it is only uh, useful for us uh, because we are uh, Bitcoin freaks and we follow these and, and you know we're aware of the, all this hard fork and that Bitcoin cash and this and that but it's only us it's a very very small percentage of the world's population and the general public could care less about if Bitcoin hard forks or if Bitcoin you know they don't even know how to use a Bitcoin wallet so I think uh, for us and for the general public the demand has been fulfilled already and that's why we are we topped uh, we touched up here and we are not able to to break all-time highs again because there is no more demand now big institutions are selling off of course taking uh, out their profits uh, they were buying in the accumulation phase and now they are selling off uh, so this to me is the reason why we cannot break all-time highs the reason to me it's not the hard fork it's not anything about the fundamentals it's simply a uh, demand and supply which is what ultimately move uh, moves the markets like any market so I think that was all for this quick video uh, I hope you enjoyed it if you have questions uh, please comment down below and uh, yeah thanks for watching I'll see you soon bye